I'm back in Kipia Wood today. Um, really strong smell of uh, wild garlic here, even though it's out of flower now. Um, so walking along through the wood. Um, there's normally a bit of water coming down this stream. I've already crossed one other a bit further back, but uh, the waterfall there was dry. There has to have been heavy rain in the last day, really, for there ever to be water on that one. I always think this is quite nice and picturesque when I come past this. Um, I had a look up it the other day to see if I could see any signs of animal tracks crossing it, but there wasn't anything clear. I think I've probably just seen a buzzard. It was certainly a big bird of prey just over the top of the trees opposite. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to get it onto film, but right up over the trees over there. I decided to walk right along to the end of the path on this occasion, um, which isn't something I've done before actually. Um, it finishes at Little Stream, uh, a bit further along this way. Um, the only thing that I've really seen down there though was a family of swans which I've managed to get on video, so you'll get to see them. Whilst it's a really lovely peaceful valley nowadays, it wasn't always so. There was lots of mining and quarrying took place along this valley in ancient times. Um, you'll notice that this stream behind me is quite polluted. We also have the remains of some buildings that would have uh, been from, I assume, the mines. You can spot some of the old rails for the uh, minecarts just behind me here. And I think the other side of me is probably the, an entrance to one of the old drift mines which has been uh, bricked up. This is another of them where I'm not sure if they were digging in to quarry out a mineral deposit or again if it was another entrance to a drift mine. And there's bits like this too because if you notice there's either I think it's stonework holding that up there and there looks like there is on the other side as well. And there's a sort of trough going back, so I wonder if this was another entrance to a drift mine. There's a few bits that are like this, where there's just 
not natural contours in the wood which suggests that something man-made was here. This is another of the bits as there's a channel going back I need to try and figure out from the footage I took the other day where the kingfisher was perched as I'm fairly certain I just saw it take off from about the same place again. I saw it out in the middle of the river but in terms of distance up river I would say it was about the same place. No sign of the egrets today so I think I'm just going to have a quick um, walk up in the other direction back towards Durham. Um, I've only really been up this bit once when we parked in Durham and walked along. Um, just to check they're not on this bit of river. Um, I can hear birds at the moment but I can't see anything. The only um, thing I've seen up here is another of the herons which is across on the far bank here. Uh, we probably can't quite see it on my phone. It's on a little log just on the far side of the river. Uh, 